On the vibrant stage of Sabataka City, there was an outstanding dancer with a bright but mysterious smile attracting the audience's attention. That was Joker. He was a dancer at the Step Dance Crew, a man with a gentle appearance, but on stage, he was always a skilled dancer. However, he had an uncontrollable laughing disorder whenever he got excited. It was also that dreadful illness made him different, leading to many times of being isolated and bullied by his colleagues. Huh? <laughs> stop, stop! Please! Does a crazy man like you deserve to work here? <laughs> Those people who were jealous of Joker because he was loved by the audience even locked him in a dark room, which he feared the most. He was so scared that his body trembled in the pitch black space, but his laugh still echoed. Suddenly, from the darkness, a sound echoed attracted Joker's attention. Who, who's that? Why do you still put up with this, Joker? Why don't you fight back? <laughs> the next day, Joker continued with his daily work. But a special event happened and changed everything. Joker's dance moves especially attracted a beautiful duchess, huh? Harley Quinn. Wow, that's amazing! Who's that guy? That is Joker, ma'am. It's interesting, I like him. Hmm. With her stunning beauty and noble status, Harley was the daughter of the wealthy Count Sebastian, who held considerable power in the city. She attracted everyone and charmed many young men who wished to have her as their wife. However, Harley always wanted to rebel, enjoy being different, and escape the rigid norms of a princess. Huh? This caused constant conflict between Harley Quinn and her father. Huh? Philip was a wealthy and well-known baron in the city. He always appeared kind and warm towards Harley Quinn because he was very interested in her. Philip tried every way to approach and win Harley Quinn's heart, including getting a job as a butler for Count Sebastian's family just to be close to her. However, Philip wasn't a man with a good nature. He was a cruel and malicious man. I'm sorry I didn't mean to. It's nothing. I'm okay. Philip, you're so kind. Behind his kind appearance, he hid his beastly nature of bullying and oppressing the weak to show his power. Seeing Harley Quinn falling for Joker made Philip jealous and furious. After a performance, Joker was on his way home when he was suddenly attacked by thugs sent by Philip. Worthless clown. If you dare to perform on stage again tomorrow, I'll make you pay! Joker was attacked, his emotions became chaotic, and he started laughing. Philip, not knowing about Joker's illness, thought he was being mocked, becoming even angrier. Meanwhile, Joker didn't understand what was happening. Joker, with his injured body, walked home on the deserted street, unexpectedly meeting Harley Quinn. Huh? What happened to you? Who are you? Why do you care about me? I'm Harley Quinn. I've watched your performance. Can you teach me to dance? Your dances are incredible. Thank you for noticing someone like me. Joker was very impressed with Harley's personality as she boldly expressed her opinions. What are you staring at? Teach me how to dance now. Joker, completely captivated by Harley's beauty, suddenly snapped back to reality and nodded continuously. Take my hand, my lady. That night, Joker and Harley danced passionately until dawn. While performing beautiful dance moves, Joker's emotions became overly excited, causing him to burst into his characteristic laugh. Will Harley go in fear and abandon me like the others? However, after a few seconds of silence, Harley Quinn unexpectedly burst into laughter. This made Joker sigh with relief, and the couple continued their unfinished dance throughout the night. Just like that, after work, Joker and Harley Quinn continued to practice dancing together, doing crazy things, and gradually developing special feelings for each other. It would be wonderful if we could dance together at our wedding, wouldn't it? As long as you want, I'll do anything for you. While Joker and Harley Quinn were immersed in happiness, Philip discovered their behavior. 
His jealousy made him plan to harm Joker. You two want a beautiful wedding? Then I'll make sure you get what you deserve. Philip deceived Count Sebastian, huh? claiming Joker was a thief. Sir, hmm. he's the one that stole my stuff. I'm innocent. I didn't do it. If you didn't do it, let me search you. Just do it. After searching Joker, the Count hmm. not only found Philip's belongings, hmm. but also discovered Harley Quinn's bracelet, a gift she had hmm. given Joker. Huh? I don't know how Philip's items got into hmm. my bag. Someone must have harmed me. However, hmm. seeing the love token of Harley Quinn and Joker, huh? the Count got really uh, angry. Joker, you will pay by serving hard labor. Philip, I leave this map hmm. to you. Joker was captured and imprisoned in a harsh labor camp where former criminals were being reformed. The prisoners there were brutally treated <laughs> under Philip's command. The Count had entrusted huh? Philip to manage the <laughs> camp and supervise the prisoners' hard work. But Philip was so hmm. cruel that he abused them behind the Count's back while pretending huh? to supervise them diligently in front of him. This huh? made everyone despise Philip but fear him too much to report him to the Count. See that, Joker? He dared to steal Harley Quinn from me. You know what to do. Yes, sir. I will take care of him carefully. <laughs> Every day, Joker had to work twice as hard as everyone around him. For Harley Quinn, Joker's situation made her conflict with her father even more intense. Mm -hmm. Just marry Philip. He's a good and kind guy. And he's a good match for our family. I will never agree! If you don't obey, you will never see me again in this life. Despite Harley Quinn's stubbornness, she loved her father dearly. <laughs> I... Mm -hmm. I agree! Please, don't do that, father! In the dark of night, Harley Quinn secretly visited Joker to say goodbye. Joker, I'm sorry! Forgive me! Hearing that Harley Quinn had to marry <laughs> cost Joker really <laughs> sorrow. <laughs> the fire of hatred in Joker began to burst into flame. At night, Joker was forced to sleep in the holes he had dug, <gasps> while others were allowed to sleep in tents. This is your sleeping place tonight. Someone like you dares to dream of Lady Harley Quinn? You're truly crazy. At night, everything turned dark, and Joker curled up in the hole. Suddenly, he heard a voice calling his name from underground. Joker! Joker! As if hypnotized, Joker began to dig with his hands. Suddenly, the ground shook, and a swarm of green worms emerged, attacking and clinging to Joker. Joker tried to brush them off, but couldn't. He was quickly covered in worms. Strangely, when the worms tried to suck Joker's blood, they seemed to be poisoned. Joker stepped out and gave a sinister <laughs> smile. The next day, Joker's mind was only on Philip and Harley Quinn's wedding, and he put his anger on digging the holes. But Joker endured until the warden tortured the person huh? next to him for unintentionally dirtying his shoes. Suddenly, Joker fought back against the Warden's violence by punching him. You don't want to live anymore? Yes. <laughs> the two fought fiercely to the surprise of many prisoners, but they all supported Joker's actions, and the huh? advantage quickly shifted to Joker. How dare you rebel? Your time is over. Now, it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> the warden was not unconscious, and Joker was cheered by many inmates because he had partly avenged them. Joker! 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 Philip is at the assembly hall marrying my wife. I need all of you now. Let's go there and teach him a lesson. I will go with Joker. Philip stole my house and trapped me to be imprisoned here. I hate him deeply. We all hate Philip. Everyone, support <laughs> Joker. Support justice. Joker was supported and his spirit was boosted. The group with full of energy headed straight to Philip's wedding. 
In the grand wedding scene, the bride Harley Quinn entered the hall with deep sadness in her eyes. Meanwhile, Joker's group approached Philip's wedding, and tension spread. Philip's huh? guards, recognizing the threat, quickly fought back, creating a fierce brawl. Under Joker's leadership, the battle between the two sides became more intense and chaotic. Everyone, go ahead! I'm coming to marry you, Harley Quinn. Inside the hall, as Philip prepared to place the ring on Harley Quinn, the ground shook, signaling an impending disturbance. The hall doors burst open, and Joker appeared with a majestic stance. She is my wife. She's not allowed to marry anyone else. Huh? Finally, you have arrived! You made me wait for so long! Philip was furious and signaled his guards to stop Harley Quinn and Joker, but he did not foresee that Joker's army was equally numerous. Finally, you are mine. <laughs> well done, you clown! You dared to come here! Huh? <laughs> Joker, are you alright? Philip, what are you doing? He deserves that. <laughs> Someone like you dares to oppose me? Suddenly, Philip's expression changed, huh? realizing his punch had no effect on Joker. Now, it's my turn. Joker, fueled by the power of hatred, quickly defeated Philip with skilled punches until Philip was completely knocked out. Ugh. You criminals will never win over justice. But who defies justice? Is it the victor who is seen as justice? Harley Quinn. Huh? Do you want to escape this place with me? <laughs> Do you know how long I've waited for you to say that? <laughs> After the party ended, the city's police unexpectedly arrived and arrested Philip. It turned out Philip huh? was a real thief, who had stolen royal items <gasps> and framed many people, including Joker. The Count was stunned and shocked by so many things that had happened, hmm. and he even disowned Harley Quinn to protect his reputation. As for Joker and Harley Quinn, they found joy and true meaning in their independence and love for freedom and a world of fairy tales. In a certain kingdom, when it comes to speaking of the most beautiful maiden, one cannot help but mention Princess Zoe. She possessed an enchanting regal countenance. Her hair shimmered like a soft stream, a sight that left many in awe. However, contrasting with her beauty was an arrogant and haughty huh? demeanor. Quickly, remove this filthy person from my sight. Huh? Zoe was annoyed by all the poor, wretched and ugly individuals, making them live in hiding like mice. Until one day, Zoe suddenly fell gravely ill, unable huh? to eat or drink anything. Huh? The king, her father, was deeply concerned. He sought all sorts of rare remedies to cure her. Eventually, the princess's condition began to improve. But Zoe realized that her once luscious hair was no longer as beautiful as before. <laughs> what is happening to my hair? Gradually, her hair fell out completely. Huh? leaving her with a bald head. Ah! From a confident person, Zoe turned into a despondent soul, insecure about herself. Princess, be gone! Be gone! <laughs> Looking into the mirror and seeing her own ugliness, Zoe felt even more despondent. Huh? That's right, I must find Silas, the most skilled sorcerer in the kingdom, to make my hair grow back! And so, on that night, while everyone was fast asleep, and no one could see her bald head, Zoe secretly sneaked out of the castle to find the sorcerer. Entering the sorcerer's abode, an eerie feeling enveloped Zoe. What does the bald princess seek from me? 
I want my hair to grow back. With that attitude, it's impossible. Please, help me. Well, fine. Come with me quickly. Silas led Zoe to a room where there were many sets of wigs. These wigs will make the princess even more beautiful. Huh? <laughs> I'll choose this one. Huh? Mm. You can't. This one, if worn, will surely bring trouble. No, huh? I will buy it. Huh? Uh. <laughs> How foolish. Today, I've gained a little profit. <laughs> Early in the morning, Zoe happily put on her newly acquired wig. Magically, she looked like a different person, even more resplendent than before. So beautiful! <laughs> a miraculous hair! Keep your hands off my hair! Get out quickly! The naughty princess is back! Zoe confidently stepped outside, her new hair sparkling in the sunlight like a real rainbow bridge. Suddenly, a frail, sickly girl wearing a tattered hat accidentally bumped into Zoe. Her hat fell off. Oh, a bald head. <laughs> I'm sorry, please return my hat. If you're ugly, don't even show your face outside. <laughs> Zoe's delight grew as she played her little prank. She proceeded to a vendor stall and bought a precious gemstone bracelet. This is a rare and expensive gemstone necklace. <laughs> I'll trade this strand of hair for it. Oh. <laughs> But as she pulled her hair, she was suddenly struck on the head, leaving her dazed. Ouch! Who's there? Frustrated, Zoe walked away from the mocking gazes and suppressed laughter of the onlookers. <laughs> I'm so annoyed! I must find the one who struck me discreetly. Huh? You don't need to search. Huh? It's me. Who are you? <laughs> I am Lyra, the owner of the rainbow hair you're wearing. I met an unjust fate. Unable to escape, I merged into this hair, hoping to find someone to help me. I don't know anything. This hair is mine now. Stop clinging to me. The next day, Zoe continued seeking joy. <laughs> huh? Don't go. Something unpleasant will happen today. You should... Quiet! At the market, Zoe playfully pranked and teased everyone around. Zoe delighted in her jest, continuing to cause mischief, teasing everyone. Zoe bumped into a ragged boy named Bruno. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Beautiful hair you've got there. I'm gonna sell it. No! Huh? <laughs> The princess is bold! <laughs> the rainbow hair is fake! <gasps> People gathered, berating Zoe. Huh? The image of beauty and power she once held in everyone's eyes shattered. I warned you, but you didn't listen. I understand this feeling, because I've been through it too. When I was alive, I possessed a magnificent rainbow hair. But because my husband was gravely ill, I had to sell my hair to a sorcerer to get money for his treatment. However, he deceived me, pretending to be sick, and used that money to propose to another girl. Someone as ugly as you doesn't deserve me. Get out of here! <laughs> Out of my indignation, I left this world. My soul couldn't escape, so I had to enter this hair, hoping to find someone to help me get revenge. After huh? hearing that, Zoe felt compassion for the tormented soul. I can't help you. I can't even help myself. <laughs> I will help you restore the trust and love of the people. 
<laughs> Listening to Lyra's words, Zoe used her own money to purchase all the fake hair from the sorcerer <laughs> and distributed it to the seriously ill and impoverished, those who had lost their hair. You are truly beautiful and kind-hearted, whether you have rainbow hair or not. Huh? Hearing the old man's words, Zoe recognized her past wrongdoings and became even more determined to change and assist others. Thank you for helping me understand that the beauty of the soul is what truly matters. Go on, tell me, what should I do now to help you? Lyra led Zoe to the house she used to live in. Looking at everything unchanged, Lyra burst into tears. Who's there? It was Tyson, Lyra's husband. After Lyra passed away, Tyson was also dumbed by his new wife. Filled with bitterness, he drowned himself in alcohol, becoming a wretched and deranged person. He saw Zoe with rainbow hair that resembled his late wife's. Huh? Lyra! My wife! Huh? And him, Zoe! Huh? Stop it! Huh? Speak up, Lyra. Let out your grievances. I'll help you convey your feelings to him. I loved you so much, yet you betrayed me. You're despicable, not huh? worthy of life. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I truly regret losing you. I'm willing to spend my remaining life repenting. <laughs> Finally, Lyra managed to let go of the burdens in her heart, no longer plagued by regrets. Thank you! Mm, give it back to you. This hair should return to its rightful owner. To repay the kindness, Lyra shared half of her rainbow hair with Zoe. Now, both of them had rainbow hair, just a bit shorter. It's real hair! <laughs> Zoe was content, satisfied with what she had. Whether bold or with short hair, Zoe was always the princess loved by everyone. Today, we will tell you a story about the life of a princess named Almira from Ioni huh? Kingdom. Almira Princess! Would you mind bringing me this cake to the afternoon tea party of other princesses? I can see you have nothing to do now. You heard it right. That girl was Princess Almira. A slave princess. Almira was the youngest princess of a small and peaceful kingdom named Ioni, which owned lots of grand gold mines. That's also the reason why other powerful kingdoms always aimed at Ioni. For the kingdom not being in chaos, the king of Ioni had to connect with Masha, the most powerful kingdom at that time. According to the contract, annually, Ioni had to tribute a large amount of gold to Masha. However, that's not a thing with a king of Ioni. But what made him worry was that he had to let one of his princesses go to Masha for not breaking the contract and fight against them. Although she was thought to be nurtured to strengthen the relationship between the two kingdoms, she was actually a hostage for them. No one wanted to sacrifice their life, so they all gave that responsibility to the kind youngest princess Almira. Things kept going. She was grown up by the despise of the princess and the princesses of Masha. Oh look, who's bringing cake to us? The servants are so lazy. How dare them command Ioni Princess? But I guess Almira won't be offended, right? Because she even has to be grateful to our kingdom. Because we are now protecting the little Ioni. Almira soon get used to it. She was always mocked and bullied by Masha Princesses. For the peace of Ioni Kingdom, she could only be patient and bear all of those things. Almira had only one friend, a little cat named Kitty, huh? but he always went out to discover the world huh? when he had a chance. Kitty, where are you? It's dinner time. I prepared your favorite food. Suddenly, a loud noise resounded, huh? grabbing Almira's attention. When she got there, she saw her cat was being grabbed by Prince Basil. Like a flash, she rushed there and took her cat back. 
he was thought to be punished by that disrespectful action. But he left without huh? saying anything. Blood? Kitty, you are wounded! What did that cruel man do to you? Thank God it's not Kitty's blood! Is there any way? This is Basil's blood! He was wounded while saving Kitty? No way! A cruel man like him will never care about anyone! Don't mention about a cat! The next day, Masha Kingdom <laughs> welcomed a really beautiful princess from huh? Ixtal Kingdom, named Dulcie. <laughs> Different from Omira, she went there as the fiancé of Prince Basil. More surprisingly, Dulcie chose Omira to be the one who stayed by her side. Even Omira didn't want to, she couldn't deny. However, thanks to that, Almira had a better life. That's the only good thing. How do you feel about this room? Thank you for giving me a good place like this, and even new clothes. But I still don't understand why you chose me. I only help you get things you're deserved. You and I are princesses. We have to come here just for our kingdom's peace. Now you only need to stay by my side and befriend with me. That's okay. You don't have to work hard or be despised by others. One night, Almira suddenly saw a strange light coming from Dulcie's room. Being curious, she decided to find out what that light is. Almira saw Dulcie huh? was trying to create a potion from her magic. At that time, mm. Dulcie also huh? realized the appearance mm. of Almira. Mm. You came? You deliberately waited for me? What are those things? What do you intend to do with them? Dulcie calmly told her story to Almira. Turned out she wasn't a princess, but an orphan who had been raised and trained to be a strong magician by the king. <laughs> then, she helped the king complete the missions that he had given her. That time, her mission was to finish Basil. Isn't that Basil is the most talented prince of the kingdom? He helped the king expand much of territory. Moreover, Basil is his son? Why he... Maybe the king also considers him a tool. Recently, he feels that the evasion is nonsense. So he refused the king so many times. So the king felt that Basil would be a threat to him. But why do you tell me all of those things? What will happen if I tell it to anyone else? No one believe a slave princess other than a fiancé of Basil, and I need you to complete this task. Why do I have to help you? You still want to come back to Ioni? That's the thing, Almira always decided, but she knew that it's really difficult to do that. And the chance was right in front of her, and she didn't want to lose it. As Dulcie's plan, on the wedding day, Almira was the only one who was allowed to enter their room to prepare anything. Almira would mm. put the potion that Dulcie gave her to the wine, and it will make mm. Basil lose his strength in mm. a short time. Then hide his sacred sword away. That was the thing that made him undefeated in every battle. After arranging everything, Almira felt really worried. She immediately went to find her cat, hoping that it would help her to remain calm. Huh? You look much better. Your name is Kitty, right? You have to know yourself. The higher you climb, the more painful you will get when falling down. <laughs> Basil? So last time for saving Kitty, he was wounded, really? You want to stay here and look huh? at me for the whole night? I don't mean to harm this little creature. I... I didn't mean... Thank you for saving Kitty before. Do you want to come back to Ioni? Yes, of course. If you want it, you can go back tomorrow. Huh? I will arrange a wagon to get you back home safely. How about the contract between the two kingdoms? What are you going to do with Ioni? Rest assured, Masha will still protect Ioni, provided that your kingdom won't break the contract. Is it that you always wanted to conquer that whole world? Hmm? Why can't you easily let me go like that? What is your ambition? I don't want to invade anywhere. Everyone has the rights to live happily. It's just, I don't want to disobey my huh? father king. This wedding with Princess Dulcie was also because father wanted to strengthen his power. In exchange, I won't have to conquer anywhere. 
and then Basil left, leaving Elmira there with many thoughts. Is there any way that he isn't bad as I thought? From the first day I came here, indeed, he has been the only one who hasn't despised me at all. Oh no! Then I just did a stupid thing! Almira quickly ran to Basil's room to prevent Dulcie's plan, because she hadn't had any reason to enter their room, so the guards blocked her. She could only climb there through the tree, growing outside the window of Basil's room. Ignoring the spikes continuously perched at her buddy, Almira finally got there. Indeed, the things happened as Almira's plan. Basil had absolutely no strength to resist. Dulcie, stop it! Don't harm Basil! What are you doing? You don't want to come back? Of course I want! Then don't stop me! We're all taken advantage by the king to serve for his greed. One day, you will be like Basil. The king grew me up. I will never betray him. If you still want to prevent me, I will also never let you off. Meanwhile, Basil gradually recovered and he could take back a little of his strength. He quickly blew away Dulcie's spellbook and controlled her. Mm. Knowing that he couldn't stay at the palace huh? anymore, Basil immediately pulled Omira away. However, the king suddenly appeared and blocked them. Not letting them to understand what was happening, the king suddenly turned into a scary devil. Turned out, the king had been harmed by that devil for so long, and the devil took his position for years. He wanted to take advantage of Basil to expand his territory, because he would be able to get more life spirit from more people. Knowing that Basil wouldn't be able to defeat the devil, Almira remembered something. She quickly found the way to his cave. The devil didn't mind Almira at all, because his target was only Basil. He quickly controlled Basil and sucked his power. Everything was thought to be ended. Then, Almira appeared again with a sacred sword on her hand. She threw the sword to Basil, and with a sword, Basil could escape from the danger. Basil was thought to defeat the devil with his sword. However, he had wasted too much energy, so he couldn't be able to defeat the devil. <laughs> Human is so stupid. You don't know that I absorbed all of your parents' life spirit, and then you grew up as a tool. But you are still loyal and blindly worked for me. <laughs> then after finishing you, there will be another one to replace you and help me open the territory. And this will include your beautiful Ioni Elmira. The devil comfortably enjoyed the life spirit of Basil and Elmira without noticing that Dulcie had awakened up. Dulcie was so angry that she used her magic to tie the devil up. Taking the chance, Basil quickly used the sword to finish him. After everything has ended, Basil took the throne and ruled Masha. He stopped the nonsense invasions and took care of citizen's life. Basil even freed Dulcie and brought Almira back as he had promised. A year later, a large wagon stopped by the gate of Ioni Palace. That was Basil. He had a way there to propose to Almira, the kind and brave princess who had helped him in difficulty. <laughs>